offices and buildings. And that's not even to mention our rolling stock, the cars and trucks, the airplanes and satellites, and then all those fine people who are actually on the payroll to take care of all that. Now, wouldn't it be just grand if we could get rid of all that old-fashioned hardware? What's this all about? And there's another thing that's going to come as a surprise to you. There are quite a few people who actually dislike the phone company. Why have you kidnapped me? And because of this irrational dislike of their own publicly owned company, they often don't pay their bills and sometimes even damage the equipment. Would you look over here, doctor? Now, to look at that hand, you'd never dream you were also looking at a miracle in modern communications, would you? Well, sir, let's take a closer look. Thanks to the science of microelectronics, you are looking at a complete telephonic receiver and transmitter. We call it the Cerebrum Communicator, or the CC for short. This dandy little device can actually perform every function of the old-fashioned telephone and more. And it does it without any costly maintenance, without telephone poles, without wires, without exchanges, without anything, in fact, except another CC in another location. Now you're probably wondering why have we made it so small. <laughs> because it will be in and powered by your own brain. Fantastic? Well, not quite, no. We merely inject the CC into that part of the bloodstream which leads directly to the brain. Technically speaking, for you doctors, we inject the CC into the internal carotid artery. The bloodstream carries it directly to the cerebrum where it lodges comfortably in the anterior central gyrus, which for us laymen is simply that part of the brain where intellectual associations take place. Can you imagine the ease the fun with which you can place a call. Why, all you have to do is think the number of the person you wish to speak with, and you're in instant communication anywhere in the world. Would you like uh, an opinion of a qualified psychiatrist on all that I've just seen and heard? Yes, sir, I, I sure would, sir. We're always interested in the opinions of qualified people. I mean, after all, it's your phone company, too.